And then I told her, we're not going to the dance. <laughs> Dreams are so weird. You two are disgusting. That's not what your mom said when I took her dancing last weekend, Yoder. <laughs> Silence, you simpletons. You've never even met my mother. Neither have I. All right, boys. That's enough tomfoolery and monkey shining. Leave Mr. Yoder alone. Thank you, Father. Certainly, Mr. Yoder. By the way, tell your mother I look forward to taking her dancing this weekend. Oh, to be young again. Fellas! Uh-oh, here comes Indian boy. Fellas! Oh, fellas! He's still wearing the feathers? Of course he is. Hey, Bryce. Hey, Jesse. You boys ready for a big sleepover tonight? <laughs> Quit calling it a sleepover, Indian boy. We're not girls! Yeah, do you think the Scorpion King, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, has his pals over to his mansion for sleepovers? Of course not. Well, call it what you want, but I can't wait for you two to come over. <laughs> You're not gonna try to rape us again, are you? But the last time, I wasn't trying to rape you. I was sleepwalking. Only I wasn't asleep. Or walking. I was tiptoeing in the hopes you wouldn't awake as I was trying to rape you. Anyway, you see the new girl over there? Sally Jenkins. The only girl in school who hasn't been here long enough to know we're total pervs. Boy, I'd love to take her to the county fair and tell her I forgot my wallet so she'd have to pay for the rides. God, she's great. Well, her family just moved into my neighborhood. And let's just say the carpet matches the drapes. They must have had a really good interior designer. Whoa, you were looking in her windows? Did you see her naked? If by naked, you mean in a bra and underwear, then yes! Not what I meant by naked, but go on. You see, that's why I've invited you gentlemen to my humble abode. Boys, hold on to your boners, cause tonight we're going peeping! Awesome! All the way to the bank! Let's just hope old Bryce doesn't puss out again like he did last time. Hey, I'm still convinced that looking into that hooker's nipples would have turned our wieners into stone. Do you guys want a wiener made of stone? I sure don't. Hey, sexies. If you hunks wanna... Man girl! Man, Man girl! If you hunks wanna see a pair of Humpty Dumplings, you don't gotta peep through no windows. I got a pair I can show you for free. Ew, gross. You probably have wangs for nipples. Yeah, get out of here, wang nipples. <laughs> You'll be sorry. The stage is set. You two will arrive at my house tonight after school, and then off we go into the wild boo yonder. One more thing. You both need to make sure you wear something black so as not to be seen by the light of the moon. Ah, oh, hey, Sally. We'll be seeing you later. Later tonight, that is. Ha-ha! <laughs> what do you think Sally's boobs are gonna look like? Probably round and hairy, just like any girl's. I just hope she's not on her period or her nips will be all bloody. Ew, that's a thing that happens? Yeah, but don't worry. A woman's time of the month only happens, like, twice a year, so we probably missed it. Oh, hey, F Oh, Bryce. Weird. I could have sworn I said wear black. I am wearing black. You're wearing gray. I told you he was gonna be pissed. Um, okay. Sorry? Excuse me for a minute. What the fuck? Fucking asshole? Fucking asshole doesn't know the difference between goddamn gray and black? Uh, Jeez, why do we hang out with this kid again? Because no one else will hang out with us? Oh, yeah. Everything good is fucked with you! Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. As you can see, Sally's house is located at the edge of the forest, which means we'll be taking a short jaunt mm. through the woods. <clears throat> this spaghetti I found in the back of your fridge tastes weird. Well, that's probably because it's three weeks old. Gross! Now we'll have to avoid Rouseville Road, as it's usually crawling with constables at this time of night. Wouldn't want to run into the cops. 
Cops? Who said anything about cops? Relax, it's gonna be dark. They're not gonna see us. They won't see you. Here I am, Gregory Grayshirt. Do you have something I can wear, Indian boy? I do not. Now let's go. Mom! We're going out gallivanting! Have fun! You boys don't go peeping in any windows now, okay? We won't! Eh, maybe I'll stay here. Damn it, Bryce. Quit being such a pussy Wilkins. I am not being a pussy Wilkins. I just don't want to get into trouble. Mom! Do you have anything black that Bryce can wear? I can't believe you're wearing his mom's little black dress. I can't believe I can fit into a size 6, so... Go me. Besides, the cops will never see me now. Unless they pick you up for prostitution. <laughs> what the hell was that? Calm down, Bryce. It was an owl. Or the ghost of an owl. Ooh. 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 Killed me. Okay, we've just got to clamber up this hill, and it's Boob City. Um, you guys go. I'll stay down here, you know, as lookout. Whatever, let's just go, Indian boy. I don't want to miss the show. Suit yourself, pussy Wilkins. God damn it, I am not a pussy Wilkins! Right. Eh, at least I'm not wearing any underwear. Alright. Jesse, my boy, get out your binoculars. Or should I say, boob binoculars? Boob binoculars. Because we're going to be looking at boobs through them. Yeah, I got it. Okay, which house is Sally's? The gray one in the middle. Hmm, nothing yet. Well, we could always see what our dear old headmaster Father Tom is up to. He lives next door. Hey, I see him. What's he doing? Playing guitar in the nude? No, he's dancing. <laughs> With your mom. <laughs> So that's why she was on the toilet all night. Bryce. Ah! Get it together, Bryce. You're just hearing things. Bryce! Oh. Ah! You don't need to be afraid of old Puddy Wilkin now, do you? Pussy Wilkins, am I glad to see you. Us Freddy cats just gotta stick together, dear boy. We'll be fine as huckleberry wine. <laughs> Whoa, Father Tom just took off his shirt. Well, I'd wager he's working up quite a sweat due to all that dancing. <gasps> it's showtime. Take off your top, so we can see him flop. Take off your top, so we can see him flop. Here she goes. What? She stopped. Do you think she heard us? Impossible. Man girl? That brutish he bitch probably wants Sally for herself. What the hell? Nobody peeps on my little girl but me. Oh shit. That's our cue. Wait, why the hell are you naked? Uh... No time! Bryce, we gotta go. Get back here, you preverts! Now! Yeah, put on that dead cat and come on! Dead cat? Indian boy, get your gigantic wang off my shoulder, man! Get in the van, boys! I've got Pokemon! Damn it! Hmm, dinner. I 
I just don't get it. One minute Pussy Wilkins was talking, and the next minute he was a decrepit, rotting carcass. Uh, about that. Uh, apparently the secret to my dear mama's famous spaghetti is psychedelic mushrooms. Hey, boys. Mango! Sorry for blowing your covers last night, but I hope you three learned a very important lesson. The only lesson we learned is that you're a bitch. <laughs> oh, man girl angry. Man girl have haircut of boy but penis of girl. <laughs> you guys better be nice to me. Or else. Or else what? Or else this will be posted all over the school. Where the hell did you get that? That's for saying you're going to take my mother dancing. Okay, man girl. What do we have to do to make that picture disappear? Sponge bath. My house. Saturday night. Fine. Fine. See you fellas then. B-Y-O-S. Pinyon Sponge. Just kidding, I got some. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Come on, fellas. It's not as bad as that guy molesting us in his van last night. Oh, yeah. We were never gonna speak of that. My B. He said he had Pokemon cards. <laughs>